it's your girl the rose michelle and welcome back to my channel okay if you are a rare ruby thank you for returning if you are new to this channel hello hola hi how are you doing thank you for coming to this channel and being a precious diamond okay i appreciate you so you guys who it's been going 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 i've been on go since i got here to <laughs> atlanta okay so we're gonna talk about the things that have been going on since i've been here um and we are also going tonight we're going on an event um it's an open mic night i'm not doing nothing that's open mic i'm just going to um with a friend that i met recently and she got invited because a group of her friends are trying to get her to do open mic so i'm going just to be in the place okay and today i'm going also to get my feet done because oh they looking like some critters right now so we got to get them together and we're gonna go style a little fit for me to wear for tonight okay so go ahead and stay tuned for later because your girl is out here doing this fashion influencing and fashion design and i love it i love the vibe granted i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of disappointed in the fashion out here because i thought like you know they was on and popping out here with the fashion but we ain't gonna talk about that i ain't gonna talk about nobody but you know i'ma do it for them i'ma do it for them so right now at the moment i'm at work i'm about to get off as soon as i clock out we gonna pop out okay we are on our way to combo mall which is my favorite mall and i'm waiting on what nisha to hurry up well, dang she took like 50 years I but we're about to go in combo mall i'm about to put are you gonna go bitch come on uh-uh don't be yeah. cussing at her like that yeah. Let Granny do her thing. Don't nobody even come for her to be down like that. Granny was trying to make sure we we don't get hit. And I don't need her to hit me. Because she going to wreck. No. Nah. <laughs> but we're going to here. We're about to find some fits or whatever. I don't see what we can look. Y'all know I'm going to Mad Rag. And we're going to try some other stores. And so hopefully. We're on time limit. We is on the time limit. On the time crunch. We got to be somewhere at 7. And it's like, what time is it? 453. 4.53. <laughs> And women in stores and shopping in malls and it's mall packed like a mother looker. So I got a good thing in mind of what I'm gonna wear. I really, I don't know. I want to be cute, but I ain't really thinking about it too much. And I gotta show y'all my press ons that I got and my lashes. I got some thin girls. They call peachy because you know I'm in the Georgia peach state and I'm a, I'm a peach baby. <laughs> but i love her dress in the window though like let's go take a look let me slide up so y'all can see what's going on and by the way y'all left my damn thing at the house so i really can't see shit but check it out y'all know leather vibes bam okay we're going in the store I wish I could have just recorded your ass so they could see you. But let's take a look and see what we got. We're gonna style some stuff. All right, y'all. So we up in this. Oh look, that shit cute. I like that. Um, I'm trying to find something so I can twerk, y'all. I ain't been twerking in a long time. <laughs> they done got me out the house, so I gotta, I gotta see if that thing still tick for a little minute. Okay, I like this jacket though. Like, I can put this on with something cute. I like that. Because I've been dying to carry my little pink backpack. We're going to see. We're going to come back to that. Um, But when I find something, y'all. This is Mad Red. This is what they got over here. And they got some nice shit. Some nice stuff. Let me stop cussing. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to show y'all what I get. I left... Mad rag because they it was giving me tomboy style. I was giving me a real tomboy style, and I'm trying to be cute, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to look like a little thotty thot. Now, just like, 
<laughs> no, I'm bullshitting, but um, we're gonna go in the Kira. That's what they're looking like popping. Um, so we're in the Kira. They got a motherfucker 50% sale off on this shit. And. <laughs> But this is absolutely my favorite right here. I love this. That thing. That's my style right there. So, I'm gonna see what I can find up in here so I can get real cute and everything. And I'm gonna try to do some styles. And I'm gonna, if I can get Wanisha to record them, we're gonna see. Oh my God, look at the bones. I love these. I love these right here and these, and those are two. Those are cute. And you record? Yeah, bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's the best way to start. That's the best way to start a video. So what's the tea? All I know is you outside today. Okay, I'm outside. Okay. So I had moved back home to the land. Oh, oh. okay. Mm -hmm. It ain't really the land. Oh, I was like, we're going to say I moved, I moved to the boot. I moved back to the boot. Okay. And. Okay. Um, yeah, and I've been in the house. And so, and then, and then that, they, 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 uh, fumble the bag is what it sounds like. Fumble. I mean, fumble. So now the titties are going to the throat, we're going to be outside. We're throwing them things back. Hey, we're going to throw that back. <laughs> <laughs> Outside is what we doing. That's cute. And, uh, we, we taking that to the room. To the, yeah, to the room. yeah. First of all, let me take care of you. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Work and stuff. Let me take care of you. And what's your name? Jordan. Jo come see Jordan. And <laughs> I'm the GM right come here. Come to the mall. Come, 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 see come see mall. Come see Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we now, Jordan, what are you doing? What I ain't going nowhere. You missing the stuff. <laughs>
I mean, like, some talented people, right? Um, like, I feel like talented is, like, an underrated word to give them. Because compared to the music that I hear now, like me, I feel like music has to have a meaning. And I feel like it has to have some type of message that's going to grab me. And the people that came out last night, the artists that came out last night for um, the open mic were amazing. Like the energy, the vibes were unmatched. But I really think that um, they should keep going and don't give up because their time is coming. So this is my time of telling you who I am and what I'm about what my name means the rarest Michelle I ain't gonna lie to you I'm a little tired um I got up and I was like okay let me shower get myself together put my clothes on or whatever I which I ain't put no clothes on I just kind of did my face a little bit and I'm sitting here drinking my water this is some good water by the way this is f flow alkaline spring water i don't know if you can see it but it is really good so i'm sitting here drinking this to have my breakfast but we're gonna talk for a minute because i feel like i didn't really give a proper introduction of who i am and what i'm about so my name is the rears michelle okay michelle is my middle name okay and the race Michelle came about like two years ago. Rarest means raw and real every day, right? And the SS part came from two things. Um, my first name is Jessica, so the J E S S. That's where the ESS part comes from. Well, the SS comes from and also a high priestess. So I just went and put all of that together. That's my name, okay? Don't be trying to steal my ish. Okay, get clever with your stuff. But um, yes, and so that's how the rest of the show came about because I feel like I'm one of those people that is multi-talented and I can do so much. But a lot of the times when I'm doing things, I don't get recognition for it. I recognize myself. But now I'm in a space where I'm putting myself out there more, showing the things that I can do. Um, just basically sharing myself with the world. And it feels good because I feel like how are people going to know who I am if I really don't put it out there and show them who I am? Okay. So number one, the thing that I love doing the most is fashion that is fashion is it for me and i've been a oh i've been a little fashionista since i was i would say in about when i was in elementary school fun story okay don't tell nobody but i done told the whole world um i actually was into fashion and my sister she was always going out my sister is older than I am 
so she had the life you know what i'm saying and i was like oh i see these bushy guy i want them and then she had these blue jean boots <laughs> she had these blue jean boots that were to die for and yeah i was like you know i want to be different when i go to school because we wore uniforms and i was like yeah uniforms are boring we get to wear tennis shoes all day red white or blue shirt with some blue pants and i used to get so tired of that and the only thing you can really be creative with is your hair as a kid but as your hair you really couldn't do too much because you can wear colored hair you couldn't um do all the what they call it fascist hairstyles so yeah i didn't have anything else to do but wear some shoes so I took my sister blue jean boots, I put them on, and I wore them to school. Now, the thing was, my brother was, you know, he's a little snitchy snitch. And <laughs> he wouldn't have told on me. So I got in trouble for taking my sister's boots to school. But I thought I was fly. I thought I was fresh, though. No lie. And as I got older, um, I learned to sew and make clothes and stuff like that so fashion has been a big part of my life and i feel like you know <laughs> if i'm gonna step out i'm gonna step out right you know i'm gonna do the do and i want to actually put that out there like show my designs and show what i'm about like because i feel like there's a lot of people out here that need some some of me some of what i got and i'm willing to show that and share it so, my second thing that I do, I write poetry. I love writing poetry because poetry helps me express the bottle of emotions that I have inside. It helps me get a clear understanding of what's going on in my world, like what's going on in my mind, what I'm thinking. Um, it helps me to decipher through my own feelings and not anybody else's feelings and what they think I should be or how they want me to be um, when it comes to, I guess, dealing with them. So poetry is, that's my best friend, like for real. Like when I need to talk and there's nobody to call, when I don't know what to do with a situation, I will write a poem about that particular subject and it'll help me get through anything that I am doing. So that's me. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see what other things I want to tell y'all because I got to say some stuff because you know, I got to make content out of it. But fashion and being a fashion influencer is another thing that I really am pushing for um because y'all like it's some bad stuff out here and i feel like if i get out here and put myself out here in these nice pieces and stuff like <clears throat> i'm gonna say this um i like black owned brands i do like to promote other stores i'm not picky about it but i i'm like the showcase it for the underdogs because i'm gonna make it pop that's me um so yeah i actually would love to work with some of the people that i've seen like um diara where well, she has lorve like i love them glasses i love them so i was like you know maybe i can work my way up there get to that do that thing you know what i'm saying pop a few lenses on there you know what i'm saying on my eyes and you know put a fit together i also i do like pretty little thing but pretty little thing is ain't nothing little about this body okay i'm sure they probably got a size for me but i got top bottom you know what i'm saying i got that and i have to kind of be in my size um but other than that y'all like i'm excited because this is a new journey for me to be out here and just showcasing who i am and the things that i love to do 
because before I was always scared of doing those things because I was like always in my mind about what people was going to think about me what people was going to say but <laughs> to hell with them now like this is my life okay I am freshly 30 and I gotta get out of here I can't spend another 30 years trying to figure out what could have been what should have been and how I could have did this no because we sit here and think about what so many people are going to say about us and how they're going to feel. And we're just letting life pass us by. We sit up here like basically wondering if somebody's going to help us to the next level. If they're going to like us. And I feel like the more time you give to people, it's wasted energy. Like you can't get that back. You can't get the time back that you put into other people. Worried about other people instead of putting it into yourself that is it's like a non-refundable deposit you can't get that back so i look forward to sharing every moment with you guys i am going to try to record most of all the stuff that i do if not i'll have y'all a little something i'm gonna put y'all some stuff together but other than that welcome aboard okay and let's get this journey rolling we gonna take it to where we want to well how far I want it to go and I really appreciate everyone tuning in with me today and oh subscribe to this one for YouTube channel because like I wouldn't be here without y'all but other than that I gotta get my day going okay I love y'all peace out I will see y'all back with another video